Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the best sneaker collabs from each NBA star signature line. I'll be taking an in-depth look into athletes from Nike and Adidas to see who's had the best collabs with outside brands. And with this being a popular wave nowadays, this video will contain a ton of heat. Leave a thumbs up on this video for more like it in the future and comment down below if you agree with my list or not. This is Topic Tackle. Let's go. If you've been here, first of all, congratulations. Because if that's the case, you would remember a video where I rated the best shoe from each NBA star signature line. The rating guidelines I followed in that video will be the same for this one and will evidently be somewhat subjective. They go as such. Number one is aesthetics. Shoe has to look good to me and a wide audience. Number two is performance. If the shoe was or is terrible to play in, then it can't make this list. And number three is popularity. Was it a popular sneaker upon release? and is it coveted today on resale sites. Let's begin with Nike and one of their best athletes to ever do it, Kobe Bryant. The Black Mamba signature line with Nike from 2006 to present has arguably been the best line of signatures next to Michael Jordan. But throughout Bryant's playing days, Nike didn't produce many collabs between his signature shoes and outside brands. The main one that stands out is the Zoom Kobe 5 and Hyperdunk OG Ashton Martin pack, only 500 pairs total that dropped on May 14th, 2016. From Sneaker Bar Detroit, both shoes come dressed in a gunmetal gray and burgundy color tone to mimic the Ashton Martin DB9 Kobe Bryant jumped over in the initial Hypernunk commercial. Even so, the best collab between an outside brand and Kobe's signature line is the Kobe 1 Pro Tro Undefeated Flight Jacket. In collaboration with the Los Angeles-based footwear boutique Undefeated, this sneaker released on July 14, 2018 for $180 and now resells at an average price of $3,675, a 1,677.8% price premium over retail. Why, you may say? The sneaker is inspired by the incredibly rare, undefeated Air Jordan 4 that released in 2005 with the flight jacket aesthetic. With the Kobe pair, according to Soul Collector, only 10 pairs of this version were made at the new undefeated Meiji Doro store in Tokyo. Anyone who made a purchase were entered into a raffle to participate in a basketball competition to win one of 10 of these shoes. No way. That's insane. There's also been a Kobe 1 Pro Cho undefeated camo pack, and this year on Kobe's birthday, August 23rd, the Kobe 4 Pro Cho undefeated pack released with four iterations representing the San Antonio Spurs, Phoenix Suns, Los Angeles Lakers, and Milwaukee Bucks. Yes, PJ Tucker already has them. Staying with Nike, but moving on to another all-time great, LeBron James. Over the years, the King's signature line has seen some notable themes with Superman and Sprite-inspired colorways, but when it comes to a collab with an outside brand, the LeBron 50 Kith collection reigns supreme. One of the focus points with LeBron 15 was creating a shoe that could perform on the court and be worn every day as a lifestyle sneaker. So, in steps Kith, a retail store based in NYC, founded by sneaker designer Ronnie Fegg in 2010. On the eve of LeBron's 33rd birthday, Kith dropped the first Long Live the King collection with lifestyle and performance silhouettes of the LeBron 15. Chapter 2 of this collection dropped during All Star Weekend 2018, and that pack featured the now highly coveted Lifestyle King's Crown. But this video deals with performance sneakers, so the nod goes to the Performance Edition LeBron 15 Kith closing ceremony that was worn by LeBron himself during the 2018 All-Star Game. This colorway dropped on August 21st, 2018 to close out the chapter collections. The KD line has seen many great colorways, but when it comes to collabs, it hasn't seen many. You have to go back to the line's early years to find the collabs, one being the KD3 EA Sports that I didn't even know existed. There's only one sneaker that can claim this top spot, and it's the same one that I awarded as the best of KD's signature line, the KD4 Nerf. Here's a soundbite from that video. Aesthetically, the shoe features a royal blue upper with paint splatter throughout the strap and midsole. The KD35 logo on the tongue references the old school Nerf basketball hoop logo. Due to this being a limited release at only a handful of stores throughout the world and coming with unique packaging, literally a Nerf hoop was included, sold out quickly on December 17, 2011 at $125. Moving on to Giannis, the newest addition to the Nike signature family of athletes. His Zoom Freak 1 debuted at retail on July 1, 2019 and has only seen three colorways so far, with one of them being the Coming to America. America collab. What really won me over on this collab was the clever marketing that Nike put forth to promote it. From the movie posters to Giannis pulling up in NYC with the Coming to America cab, Nike did an excellent job implementing pieces from the 1988 comedy in line with the shoe and relating it to Giannis's story. You know, what's also cool is this collab makes sense. 
all right considering it's Giannis favorite movie and he's literally someone who came to America and worked hard to make a name for himself in the NBA the only downside is the resale value the shoe hasn't sold out at retail which directly affects resale Paul George is up next and let me just say this man has killed it with his collabs dating all the way back to his first signature shoe with Nike all right out the gate we saw the friends and family PG 1 2k then the PG 2 and 2.5 PlayStation released followed by the collab with NASA this year with the PG 3 even though I favor the PG 3 NASA orange colorway the best collab that Georgia's signature line has produced is the PG 2 PlayStation in the black racer blue colorway this sneaker featured built-in lights for the PG and PlayStation logo on the tongue and dropped for $110 on February 10th, 2018, exclusively on the Nike Sneakers app, now reselling for an average of $419, 195.5% price premium over retail. To round out Nike is the king of collabs, Kyrie Irving. I could do an entire video on Kyrie's collabs over the years and I probably will. Hint, hint. Stay ready for that in the future, people. For now, I'll just give you his best collab, and that's the Nike Kyrie SpongeBob pack that just released on August 10th. It's not often that an entire pack sells out online, but this one did as it included the Kyrie 5 in SpongeBob Patrick in Squidward colorways, and a Kyrie Low 2 in Sandy and Mr. Krabs colorways. Now, the top spot goes to Krabs, due to the fact that it sells for the highest price premium over retail. But seriously, keep an eye out for that Kyrie collab video featuring his best sneaker collabs over the years. All right, it's gonna be crazy. And before we move to a Adidas, I want to shout out a few people and say this. As y'all know, I haven't posted a video in a while, but that doesn't mean I haven't been working. I hopped on the Nothing to Say podcast that was created by a few of my longtime friends. We talked about Summer League experience and the NBA, so go ahead and check that out in the pinned comment. I also want to shout out my man Dennis from Kenya, who's been a longtime viewer and messaged me on IG, letting me know about some cool things going on with the NBA in Africa. It's always great to hear from y'all. Go ahead and reach out in the comments and on Instagram. I'll get back to you. All right, let's move through Adidas. And to be honest, there's not much going on here. I right? not much to choose from, which just shows how much Nike and his signature athletes dominate the basketball world. The one that got away from Nike, though, is Adidas' recent collab with Marvel that did well on Adidas.com. Every shoe that was a part of the Heroes Among Us pack that dropped on April 26, 2019, has sold out except the Nick Fury T-Mac ones. So, Harden's best and only collab so far goes to the Harden Volume 3 Iron Man. Although the resale value isn't good, the shoe contains some noteworthy features like Stark Industries and an Iron Man icon on the tongue. Now on to Dame. Although Adidas and Lillard dropped a Dame 5 Black Panther collab with Marvel this year, the best collab still goes to the Dame 4 A Bathing Ape Pack that also won top spot for best shoe in Dame Signature Line. Here's a clip from that video describing the Dame 4. Aesthetically, the shoe features WGM or World Gone Mad on the upper with camo red. The famous Bape teeth stretch their way along the outsole. The Dame 4, a bathing ape red, released on February 16th, 2018, exclusively at 747 Warehouse Street in LA for All Star Weekend. The average resale price is that number that no one wants to say. Adidas went all out this past July for its newest signature athlete, Donovan Mitchell, with the release of the Don Issue 1 Amazing Spider Man. Don, or D O N, an acronym for determination over negativity, is a motto that Mitchell stands by. The Spider Man theme is also brilliant marketing for Mitchell, whose nickname is Spider. It appeared as if Adidas and Nike were battling head to head this July with the releases of their newest athlete signature shoes. And in the aftermath, it looks like Adidas won with the first two colorways of the Don Issue 1, being the Amazing Spider Man and Symbiote Spider, both crushing at retail sites, nearly selling out compared to Giannis's Freak 1. The $100 price point for Mitchell's signature shoes also helped. I guess the only L that Adidas takes here is that Spider Man is no longer part of the MCU. Maybe this could increase the resale value in the long run, though. To close out, there is no notable collab for Derrick Rose of Adidas and Steph. Curry for Under Armour, which is exactly why I didn't include Under Armour in this. Why am I talking about Under Armour right now? So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What is your favorite collab from an NBA star signature sneaker line? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out.